Happy Halloween. Now, you know, Halloween, you trick or treat, you dress up, you, you, you knock on doors, you do all that type of stuff. You know, I used to do that. I'm older now. I don't care about going to doors and knocking on doors and saying trick or treat, knowing that some of the candy might be, you know. But I don't care about none of that. Dressing up, I could see why you would do that still. It's fun. But since it was Halloween, right, I thought, you know, what's the perfect movie for Halloween? The perfect movie for Halloween. It's obvious, right? Halloween. Now, Halloween Kills just dropped not that long ago. This Halloween should be good since the last one was really good. This one should be good, right? Like, uh, I saw some trailers. They're going to team up and kill Michael Myers. That's the whole thing. That's the whole gist of it. That's the whole synopsis, you know? Going into this movie, I thought, hey, 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 this movie going to be fire. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Then I watched it. The first half of this movie was really good. I liked the first half. Bringing back some characters from the old Halloween movie. And Michael Myers, man, just doing his thing. You know, ever since the last Halloween, they've been going for this realistic feel of it. And it was... And I think that's what they should do with these movies. But then, um... During the second half... No, actually, what got me, what got me first, what got me knowing what what this movie was gonna be was was like in the beginning when when Michael Myers walked out the house and there was like eight firemen or like nine or ten like I'm not sure but probably like eight so so you telling me when did this guy Michael Myers develop fighting skill first of all he was in the other movies, he's just well, walking around with a knife to stab you up. All of a sudden, like, he dodging stuff. He dodging it like Floyd Mayweather. Slicing you, grabbing weapons like freaking, um... Like freaking Batman or like freaking Last of Us Part 2. To grab a weapon, dodge, hit you. Like, wait, hold up for a second. When did he learn how to do all this? He was just a tank just walking towards you, stabbing you up in the other ones. Then, later on in the movie, there was some decisions that these characters made which was stupid some of the killers were unbelievable i was like like how did you if you didn't watch the movie i i'm not gonna spoil it but it's just crazy how this movie towards the end of the movie i could talk about this movie but i don't this is the game reaction so i just want to speed this up but towards the end of the movie you 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 telling me that you think a stab with a knife in the back of the neck a little bit down well in the spine a little bit you telling me that's gonna kill Michael Myers and you and you believe that then all of a sudden I'm not gonna spoil it but man freak it the old man walked towards Michael Myers right he was getting ready to shoot slime he was getting ready to shoot him all of a sudden, this guy, Michael Myers, gets up, slit his neck. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what Michael Myers do. There's nothing wrong with that. The next part, it that's what gets me. He slices the old dude's neck. Then there's still probably about 10 or 12 people around this guy. Are you telling me he took out all them people? Just the movie... The first half was really good, but then the movie just went out of control. It was stupid. I'm sorry. That's probably the worst Halloween movie I've seen. I thought this was the last one. I really did. But it's going to be another one. He 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 got to fight his sister. He has to. That's the final battle. It's kind of like the hound in the mountain. But hopefully it's not that bad. All right, man. I'm sorry. I just really had to talk about Halloween. Like I just got done watching it. And I regret having to sit through one hour and 45 minutes of that movie. If you want to watch a good Halloween movie, watch the beginning ones. Watch the earlier ones, then watch the one before this. You can read a summary of this and still get it. Alright, let's talk about this game. Honor of Kings, the world official gameplay trailer, open world RPG. Just like Black Myth, just like all those games I reacted to, those games that blow your mind, 
this is the same thing i guess i saw the screenshot this game looks beautiful gameplay wise i don't know yet so we're gonna look at this and determine if this is flames or this is bucket of trash hit that like button hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave i was about to say leave a comment but i never say that let's just get into this reaction my fault man i just went on a rant of, of halloween and seven minutes in and i do one of those little time things so so you can skip this because who cares about halloween but i just had to get that out A young man is taking a small boat heading to whatever, where to, okay, thanks. Taimi Studio? The heck is that? This is in game, right? This uh, oh my god. What the f what? Yeah, no. <laughs> I gotta see some wild gameplay of, I, of somebody actually playing this shit. Because this looks unbelievable, first of all. Yeah, this looks unbelievable. This looks like a freaking cinematic trailer to a freaking... Like, what? Yeah, yo. <laughs> All this happening too? Storm Dragon? I don't believe this man. I don't I don't believe that was a game I don't believe that was a gameplay. I don't. It, it looked it too good and too fluent. It looked it way too good. Way too good, way too smooth. Hell no. Like, like that could have been gameplay, that could have been gameplay. I'm not saying it can't, but that was a little bit too perfect. Now we're on a flying well, my guy? So this is an online game or something because it did say open world RPG. That could mean open world online RPG or just a single player open world RPG, which is my favorite genre. Yeah, this looks amazing. The gameplay reminded me of Final Fantasy, like 15 or Final Fantasy remake or Final Fantasy 7 remake. It, it, it kind of has that sort of gameplay a little bit. So, and this game just came out of nowhere or something. Or it, I wonder if this is one of those games like Lost Soul Aside, like like a game that was being like a game that got announced a while ago and they and they finally are showing more of it. I wonder if it's like that. Because a lot of those games are like that though, so now I'ma just play this but then I'ma give my thoughts while while this plays. I don't need to hear the audio since it's not in English anyway. But yeah, okay. Honor of Kings. So this game I really don't know anything about the game. But from looking at it like like I really can't like uh it's fantasy it's like final fantasy <laughs> it's like final fantasy um that's the only thing i can really say i've seen flying wells i've seen this this creature 
that looked like a lion mixed with something else. Um, graphically, it's amazing, first of all. Graphically, it's freaking really good. Like, Black Myth looks really good, too. But you can tell that's gameplay because the way it plays. This looks like... Like, this don't... It looks way too freaking good. Like, for some reason, I don't believe this is gameplay. But it, but it looks like it since since you see the HUD, the map, the health up the... The health at the top. Like... It looks like this could be gameplay. And if it is... This looks like... No, this looks like what what I expect next gen to be right here this is what next gen should look like but I don't know what this is running on it could be running on a PC which I assume it is but yeah it has elements of Final Fantasy it has elements of Scalebound just a little bit since I've seen a dragon that's the only reason why I'm saying that but and other than that, I see Final Fantasy written all over this. And probably a lot of other stuff probably too that I don't know about. Yeah, and I don't know what to think about this. I really don't know what to think about this game. Like, like it could... I gotta see raw gameplay. Like, that's what everything... That's what Cyberpunk fell flat at. They showed us that E3 demo. You know, it looked it amazing. I was waving about it. I was mind blown about it like I wanted to get my hands on it so bad when they showed us that E3 demo then news came out then news came out then news came out then you see where cyberpunk is right now I like like I still got faith in cyberpunk they are gonna fix it hopefully it's where I want it to be at when I play it because I'm not playing it in the condition it's in right now. Fuck no. I'm not gonna mess up my experience with Cyberpunk from playing it in its worst condition. You know, I'm not doing that. But that's the same thing with this game. Like, I see this. I can't get hyped off of games anymore. I can't. So I see this. I see the gameplay gameplay i see the gameplay and it looks good um but i still have to see some more same thing with black myth even though they dropped updated trailers updated gameplay they keep on showing us this, this game so from seeing lots of that i know that that's real probably i know i know that's not fake but but deep deep down i still gotta see gameplay like I still have to see gameplay I still have to see raw gameplay of somebody playing it and that's for any game that like is amazing my my only my my only exception my only exception my only exception is The Last of Us Part 3 because I know what Last of Us is I know what Naughty Dog can do um GTA well Rockstar I know what they can do um, Insomniac Games, I know what they can do. Well, Insomniac, um, Guerrilla Games, I know what they can do. So I'm not really worried about none of those games. But with games, with game studios, I don't know about. It's it's kind of like I'm on the fence with these games. I gotta see something more. So um, with this game, Honor of Kings, it looks beautiful, but I have to see more of this game. Tell me how you feel down below. Um, is it trash or is it heat? Um, I don't want to start writing gameplay trailers, but I'm going to just do it this one time. I'm going to rate it out of a 10. If I had to give it a rate, uh, I'd probably say uh, for graphically, it goes up since it looks amazing. But I'll have to give it like a 4 or 5. Just because I'm not sure about this game yet. But yeah. I, I I would like to see more. I would like to see more of this game. I'm not sure if it's on console or PC. But if it's on console. I definitely want to see more. So yeah. 
I see y'all next time. If if you want me to react to any videos, put it down below in the comment section. And yeah, peace, yeah. Thank you.